sitting here with Colton Pareko. Just got the news today that uh, move on up to the pros, man. Yeah. Signed a deal with the St. Louis Blues and reporting to the AHL team, Chicago Wolves first. And first off, man, um, how quickly did this process happen after winning the Gov Cup on Saturday? <laughs> Pretty fast, it started almost the next day. So I woke up, we got in pretty late, flew out that night after and got in in the morning, early morning. So um, happened early Sunday morning, I started, start, the process started rolling. And after that, I guess it just kept going and today it was finalized and the final product was put together. And um, throughout the process though, it just wasn't about trying to put the deal together. It was about me making a decision of what uh, I want to do if I should come back or um, go to the pros. So, was it a hard decision for you? <laughs> yeah, it's probably one of the toughest decisions in my life, and anyone that knows me as a person probably understands how tough it was for me. And um, I guess if I mean, if you ask anyone that has been around me the past couple of days, I've been stressing, and um, I just I don't know. I was told I shouldn't be stressing over uh, successful life life paths like this. So um, it's just the type of person I am. I um, don't really want to leave the program behind. It's such an unbelievable program, but um, at some point I was going to be finished at this program, um, whether it was this year or next year. So, uh, like I said, I love playing here, and that was one of the main reasons it was really tough on me to make a decision was because of the teammates that I had here, the program it is itself, the coaching staff, and the fans that are here. So. Essentially, yeah, it was the toughest decision of my life, I gotta say. Yeah, yeah, and just um, even along those lines, was there maybe a certain point or a certain game in the season where it's kind of creeping into your mind that, hey, I may want to, you know, try my hand and go pro? Or yeah, I think throughout my whole hockey career, I've wanted to go professional, and so it's just it's definitely not a new thing for me. But as the newest part would just be me having to actually make this decision and it's the reality now I've you kind of think about it a little bit throughout the year because it's there you know it's gonna pop up at the end and you don't want to think about it because you have a big season in front of you and um, that's more important to focus on at the time so but at the end of the day it, the reality is is that it was there and um, it finally came and that was a decision that had to be made, I guess. Cool, cool. And what, uh, did you talk to Doug Armstrong, the GM of the Blues at all over the weekend? Or? Uh, yeah, I didn't talk to him over the weekend, but I talked to him today. He, when the deal was finalized, he called me and congratulated me, and which was very awesome, very nice. <laughs> yeah, and the successful program that you mm -hmm. are leaving. This program has sent plenty of players to the pros. And yes. How big was that, uh, knowing that you know players have gone to the pros even recently, mm -hmm. Cody Kunick and Back. Colton Beck as well. Mm -hmm. Just talk about how maybe seeing those guys go through that process. How yeah. Have, has that helped? Well, yeah, it's um, getting to play with those players, the guys that get to move on to pro are the only players that are going to make you better. And getting to play with those players uh, is, is special. Uh, Cody was a really talented player, and same with Colton and Michael Quinn. So those are players that really elevated my game just because their game was so much higher. And um, Not just those three, but plenty of guys that I got to play with throughout here. Um, they all challenged me every day. and pushed me and not just me I think everyone pushed each other which was the best part and one of the great things about the program everyone wants to get better we want to be a successful program and um, that's really important because the Nanooks are really successful and um, their f future is very bright and um, yeah it was a tough decision like I said earlier because it is such a great place to play and it's such a homey feeling here with the people and everything like that so uh, yeah but it seems like this program definitely prepared you, yeah. put you in position to, to make this decision. For sure. I guess what have you learned about yourself as a as a hockey player, you know, and in, in your development here? Yeah, I mean that's tough to pinpoint at one, just in one little spiel here. But I think all aspects of my game have improved. Uh, I don't just think that my hockey has improved. I think just my the person I am today. I came in and I could barely talk in front of a camera, but today I'm a little bit better at least, and I'm sure you know more about that. But I think just overall as a person, person, player, and individual, I think just has really became a new person almost. Just developed me into a more mature and person that's able to maybe speak in front of a camera now or a person that's maybe be able to elevate their game or be successful in the classroom or 
um, anything along those lines. I just think it wouldn't really relate to hockey, it, but just as personal lifestyle as well. Um, as far as hockey goes, though, they obviously have developed me into a very good hockey player, and um, I can't say enough good things about the coaching staff and the teammates that I got to play with that have helped me, helped push me to get to this position. So as you reflect on, you know, being here three years, successful years, you know, last year, WCHA Defensive Player of the Year, second team mm -hmm. in America as far as individual performance, but anything that's come to your mind as far as, like, you know, your, your favorite moments as an anime? Uh Obviously, it's nice to get recognized, as you said, but um, I would definitely think that my favorite moments here as an Anik would just be winning the Gov Cups that I got to a three here, uh, winning the, all the Bryces that I got to play in the Kendall Cup this year. Um, the most, Those are the most things I'm going to memorize for the rest of my life is being able to win those things with the group of guys that I got to because um, <clears throat> things like that you just don't forget. Um, and Alan, there's just too many as far as hockey goes and there's just so many memories that I'll never forget just playing here and being part of this program. The same team that drafted you back in 2012, mm -hmm. signed you and everything. Now you're going to Chicago Wolves team AHL, 10th uh, in the standings there. Um, I saw the guy named Jake Chelios is on mm -hmm. the roster too. Yeah. I think you're familiar from him from the uh, Michigan State series yes. a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, but just talk about um, all along those lines of you progressing and being ready to make this move. What do you think you bring you know, to the Wolves and the Blues organization now? Uh, I think just a big defenseman that's able to skate well and transition the puck and hopefully position myself well. Um, I think as far as moving on to a pro player, it's going to take me to, to just be determined and work hard every day. Um, I can't take this as in a sense that I've made it or anything like that. Obviously, there's a ton of work to be done each and every day. So this is just a building stone that helps me get there. But at the end of the day, it doesn't give me a spot on the roster. It doesn't do anything for me in that sense. So I still got to show up every day being prepared to play battle. And uh, I guess it's my job now. So uh, get up, play every night. And um, that would be the main thing, just trying to become a pro player and uh, act as a professional and just take that away from it. What aspects of the game did you want to strengthen or even make, make even better in mm -hmm. things that you're good at? Um, that's another tough question. I get asked that quite a bit, and I think all different aspects of my game I can improve on. So um, as far as little things I know, it's maybe my physicality needs to be a little bit stronger. I feel like the guys in, in the next level are going to be bigger, stronger, faster, So, as they are in every level. So even making the jump to college from junior, you had to get, get bigger, stronger, and faster. So I, uh, I believe that that's going to be another aspect of my game that's going to have to improve again and just take, take another step take another step and uh, just make sure that I work hard. I think that that's going to be really important. I know it's going to be a couple hours before you leave out of here, man, and you're going to, you know, big city Chicago. You know, this is a small <laughs> town here, so it's going to be a lot thrown at you. But are you excited, nervous, determined, focused? Like yeah. That's, uh, uh, it just changes all the time. Just sometimes I'm thinking about me getting into Chicago and how nervous I'll be when I get there and when I show up and have to meet the guys. And, um, but at the same time, and when I'm here and thinking about the guys and the memories I've had here, it just, it's really tough on me. It gives me butterflies. And, I don't know, it was really fun here and I really enjoyed the guys here. So uh, it's gonna be an emotional one tonight probably when I leave, but yeah, it was uh, exciting, so. How has your family reacted to this? Um, are you going to be closer to them? To uh, maybe a little bit closer, just in terms of where we are. But uh, I think that they no, they reacted pretty well. They were excited for me and something I dreamed of as a kid, and they knew that. So um, they were really excited and happy to hear the news. And I guess they didn't really know a whole lot about it kind of thing. They never went through a process like this before. So um, as far as decision-wise went, they just kind of told me to make my decision and um, kind of go with what I feel like and they'll support me in both ways so they really supported me which I really appreciate and couldn't have asked for a better better uh, situation from them and um, they were able to just make sure that I was comforted because they knew it was really tough on me to make a decision at this level and um, what they ha had to say was really supportive and it was amazing to have them along the way for it.